your opportunity to ask me any question you want about solar or anything. Even what should your tire pressure be on your mountain bike? All right, we've got Letitia. Uh, this is through Facebook. A 6.6 .6 kilowatt for 2699 from an approved solar retailer seems cheap. Yeah. Apparently it was 6399. Would you recommend? No, Letitia, I wouldn't recommend. In my opinion, that is way too cheap. I, if you break down the cost of this thing, you look at the cost of the panels, the inverter, the installation, the balance of system components, the marketing, you look at the margin that the installer has to make for, in my opinion, to run a sustainable business and be around for the next 20 years and provide customer service on all that good stuff, I can't see how they can do that. And besides, they've dropped nearly four grand off the price. Where's that four grand gone? Just because they're a Clean Energy Council approved solar retailer doesn't mean they're any good, I'm afraid. Six years ago, it did. But since then, in my opinion, scheme's gone down the pan. And so you can't trust them just because they're an approved solar retailer. So if it's too cheap to be true, you know the rest. Now this one's from Winnie. I had solar installed 12 months ago and we were generating heat back to the grid in summer. This year I've noticed that on the really hot days we do not export any to the grid, yet the power we're using is no different to a lesser hot day. What could be the issue? So the issue here is that your solar system is producing less gross generation when it's really hot. Two things I can think of here. One, your inverter's getting too hot and many inverters when they get too hot will derate, which means they will reduce the amount of power being produced. So if your inverter's in direct sunlight, get it in the shade. The other thing is solar panels do produce slightly less electricity when it's hotter. The hotter they get, the less efficient they get. But that would be a much smaller reduction than the inverter. The only way to definitively know is to have a look at your monitoring. And that's one reason why monitoring is so important. It lets you troubleshoot stuff like this definitively. And that was Ask Finn. If you want to ask me any questions and get them answered on Solar Quotes TV, hit us up, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, email, the usual.